Welcome back to the channel, y'all. In this video, guys, I'm going to share with you guys. We're going to be testing out the Adam Polishes Slick and Slide on a black paint job here, guys. We're going to see what the deal is here. And um, how much shine and gloss will it give this fender on this black? I don't see how it makes black paint job just kind of pop. And you know, let's try it out more, shaking up a little bit. Now this stuff reminds me a lot of the Technician's Choice um, ceramic detail spray. Don't look to me; it's just a traditional detail spray, but it, that's exactly what it reminds me of. All right, so y'all know what it is. Retail price: I paid 15 bucks for this on Amazon. And I, like I said, I just want to try it out. There's a lot of, you know, stuff coming out. And I think this is one of Adam's newest product. I think. It's more of a, I would say it's more like a traditional detail spray. That's what I think. Um, something like Bee Maker. Somewhere on the lines of Bee Maker or something like that. But anyway, let's, uh, let's get into it. Shake it up a little. And here we go. All right, let's hit it. Stuff smells good, I'll tell you that much. It's got kind of like a citrus, fruity smell with it. it smells good. Swipe it down. It's very slick too. Now, this is something I would love to use in between washes, I think. I don't know if how good would this hold up as a standalone, you know. But, as far as using something in between washes, now, this, I think this product here will work amazing for that. Let's give a nice gloss, as you can see. So my 96th century. I think you guys know that's the car that I pretty much keep inside this building. Well, this uh, portable garage, rather. It's about to be a permanent structure because I'm thinking about running some plywood around the walls. And the top is all right. You know, I can, you can just replace the canvas on top and they sent me an extra top. So if I decide to do plywood walls, that would really make it solid, wouldn't it? Just... Put more posters in here. Uh, put drop a post here, a post there. Just add some more posters. I could do a plywood wall. I ain't worried about the front door rather too much. Just the side walls, what I'll be worried about mostly. So I can do plywood wall. You can probably wrap this thing around. Probably about seventy-five dollars to do the both sides. I think if I. I would use that canvas for that tarp for a while though. And then I can go to plywood wall. No big deal. I can slap the plywood wall up in no time. 30 minutes I have plywood walls up. Alright, so uh let's hit it again. Shake it up a little bit. Let's hit it again. Alright. There's a lot of gloss to black, I tell you. It smells super good, man. It smells super good. Shouts out to Adams. It smells good. And for the standalone, like I said, guys, I don't know how good this product will work as a standalone. You know, for the protection, standalone protection, I don't know how good this will work. It's very slick, though. I can tell you that right now. Very slick. I see why they call it slick and slide. Because it's very slick. I like where it flashes right right away when you're washing your vehicle with it or uh, using it rather. You know, it just flashes. I like the fact that it doesn't shriek. Right? That was a good job so far here. And I would say this is one you want to use on your windows and stuff like that. Uh, I would say this is one also that you probably can use, like as a waterless car wash, rather than rather you know something like that. 
uh, you know, that's what I think. If you want to use like a waterless car wash or something, you stay in apartment complexes, condos, or whatever, water restrict the area. This product would be great for like a. I'm still saying in between washes or uh, use it as a waterless solution, a waterless car wash, you know, because uh, it it's very slick as you can see. It puts a lot of shine and gloss on black paint here. I mean, it just looks super, super good here. Look at here, looks super good to me, guys. And while we at it, I'm gonna shoot a little water here. I'll shoot a little water. Just to see how hydrophobic it is on this black. All right, so let's hit it. We're gonna hit it with a little water. That's what we get right there. Very hydrophobic, as you can see here. Very hydrophobic. Look at there, guy. I told you it's very slick. So it really gotta be very hydrophobic. It's just so slick. Look at here. It's very, very slick on the panel, guys. The water beater is outstanding. Look at here. This is outstanding water beater technology. Look at here. I mean, that's, that's outstanding, guys. Clearly can see how, how, how hydro, hydrophobic this stuff is. Look at there. You clearly can see the hydrophobic properties that's in this product, guys. Look at there. Clearly can see how hydro. High hydro. How hydro phobic. <laughs> -ph phobic this stuff is. Look at there. Man, this stuff is very hydrophobic. You guys can see it. You can clearly see the hydrophobic C in this product. I mean, it's just amazing. I told you guys, like, when you spray it, it flashes. It flashes right away, like. It's very slick. It's one of the slickest products that I've used, no matter. I don't know what they got in it, but whatever they got in it, it makes it. It's very slick. You got a musket, this Adam, slick and slide, or try. It's very slick, guys. It's like... I so know what's in it. I mean, I could probably spray it here. And, the, you know, this is rough paint when it's grabbing the baller. Now, will this stuff make it slide, you think? I don't know. I didn't want to put nothing up here because I'm going to paint this vehicle. I guess I had to use this soap just scraping off the hood. But check this out. Let's see what, what we get. Will it make it? That stuff is so slick. Now, y'all saw how rough this paint was here. I'd be amazed if it start to slide there on this rough paint. This paint is rough. Look at here. It's grabby. Because I sanded this paint. So I know this paint ain't slick at all. See. So I'm going to just wipe it here. Just this little area here. And we'll see how it slides. Now it may add slickness. I, I really don't know. It may add slickness. It'd be a miracle if this paint store to slide, though. Because you know, it's just faded paint, just gone. It look like it's trying to shine up in here. All right, so we'll flip it. We'll make sure it's dry. Fold the rag over. Okay. Just give it a little time to dry because my rag is damped out now. So, man, it feels slicker even just by using that. There on this faded rough paint, this paint ain't even smooth. I mean, you know, well, it's like it's putting a shine on it, as you guys can see. Watch this, see where it slide. I ain't think it will slide on, on this paint. This paint's been sanded, but it's trying to slide, though. See there? It's trying to slide. Very little, but this paint is just too rough for it to slide. <laughs> it's very slick, though. See, it's trying to slide some. But this paint is too rough, but it does look better just by wiping it here. 
So anyway, ain't nobody hope you guys are screaming too long. Look at the gloss. It's very slick, guys. It adds a lot of gloss. You can see how I added the gloss to this dull paint. Look at here. Pretty sure. Look at there. You can see everywhere I wiped that with on this dull looking paint. Even Adams did a good job there. Look at the, the blackness. Of the, ooh, man. Look at here. Trying to tell y'all, y'all about to get it. 15 bucks on Amazon. Looks good on black, man. Look at there. It brings out black paint. It flashes right away. No streaks. All right. Hit that subscribe button. Till next time, I'm out of here. Peace.